no prescription. Wipe my ass with opinions. Despicable as a minion. Pulling milks at pavilions. As old as Kamora Simmons. And thick as Hard. Here we go. First round. You ready? You ready? Let's we are underway. All right, early action here, Conor McGregor. You know about the physical gifts. You know how well he controls and manages distance, but from a mental standpoint, this is an intimidating proposition for a lot of fighters. He's beaten a lot of guys before they even make the walkout fight night. Early action here, we'll see how McGregor handles it. McGregor gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Joe, how does he approach this particular challenge tonight? Jose Aldo is particularly devastating with his knee strikes. His timing and his accuracy are outstanding. They could play a huge factor in this fight. Kick lands. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Very nicely done. Aldo's head kick attempt. That one is blocked. He gets hit with an outside leg kick. Big looping right hand there. Landing a good series of strikes here. Nice. Oh, it's a beautiful elbow. Yeah, looks oh, a little wobbly on his feet. He got hurt bad. This could be it right here. Oh, head kick. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Oh! This could be it. Ferocious leg kicks from Jose Aldo. Aldo gets hit with a kick. Good defense there. Oh, he connects there. Wow. Oh. He is in trouble. Swing and a miss with that punch by Aldo. Nice leg kick. That one hurt. Oh, he missed that kick. Kick Joe, unable to find the target. Oh! oh he tagged him with the left. He is stumbling. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Beautiful right leg kick there. Switching stances here. Aldo gets caught by that elbow. It doesn't look like there's a cut, but he'd be wise to get those hands up. Incredible. You ready? All right, round two. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Jose Aldo is one of the most explosive kickers in all of mixed martial arts. On top of that, he has a world-class Brazilian jiu-jitsu game and some serious. Oh! He is hurt here. Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. Oh! McGregor's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely swollen at this point in time. We'll keep an eye on it as this fight moves forward. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his... Wow! He's got him hurt here.
Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Well, you've got to admire the effort. He's still striking, he's still landing, but the gas... Oh! oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Unable to land with that punch. That shot blocked by Alda. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that counter. McGregor's kick is blocked. He landed that inside leg kick. Visibly limping here. Ooh. Striking great accuracy on that punch. Here you go, let's go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's Crowd go. fired up, so are we third and final round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, double jab. Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. McGregor gets caught by the inside leg kick. All right, so a swing and a miss there, and largely due to fatigue. His stamina is low, and he's got to figure out a way to conserve some energy if he's going to have any success later in this fight. Oh, strong punch there by Aldo. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Blocks the shot. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Oh, he is starting to put a lot more pressure on his opponent here, Joe. A lot lighter on his feet these last couple rounds of this fight. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. Oh! He's rocked! Oh, heavy leg kick there. That one hurt him, Joe. Oh! oh! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Well, don't adjust your TV set. The punch lands yet again to the head, and defensively, Joe, his approach here is leaving a lot to be desired. He's moving into the strike and putting his head right in his opponent's range. Blocks the strike. Just misses with the straight left hand. Nice left hook. Shot is blocked there by Aldo. Really? Oh! He's in big, big trouble. Now. 
And here's the end. Round one, look at this huge kick to the head. And his legs go wobbly. Round three, you can clearly see that he's stunned on this impact. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 38-26, Aldo. Judge two scores it, 38-28. And judge three scores it, 30-26. With a winner by majority decision, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, so another big win for Jose Aldo here tonight. They've got a new facility and arena at Nova Uniao there in Rio de Janeiro. Triple the amount of training space, and perhaps that paid dividends for the former two-time UFC featherweight champion here tonight. Another big moment inside the octagon for Jose Aldo Jr.